An enterprising leader and social entrepreneur, Mariana Exander has founded her career on the principle of serving others. Her commitment to driving impactful change began when she served as a two-term president of the Rice Student Association. The lessons she learned and passions she developed as a student have continued to propel her forward in her exceptional career, where she served in a number of strategic roles, including advisor to Rice University President David W. Lebron and Chief Operating Officer of Planned Parenthood. Mariana now lives and works in South Africa as the Chief Executive Officer of Harambe Youth Employment Accelerator, a pioneering effort to address youth unemployment in Africa and around the world. Under her leadership, the organization has supported 750,000 young people and is continuously recognized for its global impact. In 2019, Iskander received the highly prestigious Skoll Award for Social Entrepreneurship. As one nominator described, being a successful social entrepreneur takes grit, selflessness, and vision. Mariana possesses all of these qualities in spades. It is our honor to recognize Mariana F. Iskander with the Distinguished Alumni Award. Thank you so much to the Association of Rice Alumni for this recognition and award. Rice took a chance on me, not just once, but twice. First, as a student in 1993, when I arrived on campus and within two days had invited then President Malcolm Gillis to a totally impromptu dinner with my orientation week group. They literally couldn't believe it when he showed up in the old Weiss Commons. And that's where my adventures at Rice began. There are too many staff, faculty, and even fellow students to acknowledge for taking one chance after another on me. Looking back now, what they really taught me was to always take a chance on others and to lift up those around me as I progressed in my own life and career. I probably learned this most deeply from my mentor, Chandler Davidson, who many of you know after a lifetime at Rice passed away last month, right before we were planning to see each other in Houston for the first time in many years. As I started my professional career after law school, Rice took another chance on me. This time it was President David Lebron who trusted me to support this community in shaping its vision for the second century. I returned in 2004 to a campus full of old friends and made many new ones. In March last year, I got a call from Michael about this award. I immediately went online and booked a plane ticket from my home in Johannesburg, South Africa for the ceremony. But the pandemic obviously had other plans for all of us. So this year we gather in this virtual ceremony with the entire worldwide rice community. I wanna say that when people take a chance on you, you simply wanna make them proud. And I hope that I've done that, not just for Chandler, but my, for my friends, Mary Lee Burris, Sydney Burris, Courtney Hall, and the many others who have passed before we were ready for them to go. And especially to thank those of you here for what you've done to teach me to lift up others. I thank you. 